it moved from criticism of Harry Maguire to bullying and now to abuse. So hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Football with Priscilla. I'm Priscilla, obviously. So hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Drama FC because Manchester United is clearly Drama FC. So today, I just want us to talk about the Harry Maguire drama. Ladies and gentlemen, are we bullying Harry Maguire? But before we get into the video for today, make sure you share, like, and subscribe. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe, and turn your notifications on to know when next I post a video. Now, ladies and gentlemen, are we bullying Harry Maguire? Like, I know the guy is not in form. He's doing the most. Like, he's doing all the wrong things. But are we really bullying Harry Maguire? Now, I ask this question because Southgate came out strongly in his statement saying, pundits are against Harry Maguire, fans are against Harry Maguire, the criticism is unwarranted because Harry Maguire is a great player, he's been good for England, and people are just being, well, for lack of a better term, mean, okay? And I'm thinking, hmm, maybe, just maybe, Southgate's right and the whole world is wrong. Because clearly, only Southgate, granted, and Harry Maguire's mom have these sentiments. Well, and Harry Maguire himself, right? I've been on Twitter reading Southgate's statement, Harry Maguire's mom's statement, Harry Maguire's statement. And I was like, wait, are we really just bullying the guy? Like when I sit down and I wonder and I ask myself, are we bullying Harry Maguire? Like, is our criticism warranted? Let's see. First of all, how has he been performing with Manchester United? For the past few seasons, two, three, four seasons, he has been below par, he has been slow, he has been weak at the back. We've seen how many players have been passing him with pace. So with Manchester United, I think we can say the criticism is warranted. How many mistakes has Harry Maguire cost for Manchester United? A lot. And let's go to England. Granted, with England, those are like tournament games. Like, they don't play every week. They come after how many years, right? So we can't really justify his performance because of England, at least not in my opinion, right? Now, for me, when we look at Harry Maguire, came from Leicester, good defender. Manchester United clearly bought him at a high price, okay? We all knew that was overpriced. For some reason, when a team is doing business with Manchester United, especially in the Premier League, they hike their prices. They give us crazy amounts to buy players, okay? So he comes to Manchester United. He does well. Granted, we were having a coaching problem, but yeah, he's he's holding himself down. After levels start stepping up, we start we start now noticing that okay, maybe just maybe Harry Maguire is not good for Manchester United. Agreed. Everyone agrees he's not good for Manchester United. Okay, we are not saying personally. I'm not saying that Harry Maguire is a bad player. I think he's a good player. I just don't think he's fit for where Manchester United want to go now. West Ham during the summer transfer came for Harry Maguire. It was rumored that he was supposed to go with Scott McTominay to West Ham. Apparently, Harry Maguire said no because he wanted to fight for his place at Manchester United. Other people may call it bravery. Other people may call it crazy, right? But Harry Maguire was like, no, I'm going to stay at Manchester United even though Ten Hag clearly does not want him, even though Ten Hag clearly was looking for another defender all throughout the summer, okay? But Harry Maguire was like, no, I'm going to stay with Manchester United. And there comes Gareth Southgate, who has seen that Harry Maguire has just played one game from the time the season opened, one, okay? He decides to choose him for the international, for the England international game, which shocked all of us. I know I can't speak for the English people, but I'm pretty sure they can agree with what I'm saying. Harry Maguire hasn't played consistent games, yet he's getting picked over other defenders who play consistently. Like, how okay is that? For me, when I saw that he was picked, when I saw Phillips, Kevin Phillips from Man City, who God knows when he last played, were picked for the England squad. I was like, what is this? I don't know what goes through Gareth Southgate's head, honestly. I don't know what tactics those are. But for me, I'm like... Why is he picking Harry Maguire? Surely, the whole country of England does not have other defenders bar Harry Maguire and John Stones. Is that what you're telling me? It's, it's just ridiculous. Like, it's crazy. So there's all that drama with Harry Maguire. Him being picked when he doesn't play over people that actually play. Him refusing to go West Ham and him choosing to fight for a place at Manchester United regardless of the fact that the coach doesn't want him. And he's not just a natural fit. 
okay now with all that said do you guys think comment down in the comment section we're actually bullying like has it moved from criticism of harry Maguire to bullying and now to abuse because when i read the mom's statement i'll be honest i was touched i was like listen no mother wants to see their child getting criticized in that way or getting bullied for lack of a better term in that way no mom and for her to remove that statement it touched me i was like oh this is so sad no one wants to see their little boy or their little girl going through such so i understand where the mom is coming from now i also want to look at it from harry Maguire's point of view i want to be fair i understand why the fans react the way they do i understand why the fans taunt him the way they do is it justified maybe is it warranted no Okay, I think sometimes the fans can go a little too extreme. The booing, the taunting, it can get extreme. Why I'm saying this is, I will never stop saying this. We need to understand that football players are human beings. I think sometimes the fact that we are so used to Bruno Fernandes, Marcus Rashford, Bakayo Saka, Odegaard, like in our heads, I don't think we put players as people in our heads they're like characters i think for most people right they're like characters you don't it doesn't really sink in until after something happens then you're like oh wait this is a human being okay so i always talk about this it's not easy to gain to get that much criticism as a human being i think most of the times we move the human aspect and then we just um we forget there's a human being behind the player behind the number Behind the number 10 of Odegaard, there is a person, there is a human being. And behind Harry Maguire, the name, the brand, the player for Manchester United, there's Harry Maguire. Now, all the time when people are taunting, giving criticism, and when I see it go beyond and above, I do wonder, like, how do these players manage to stay sane? Because as personally, as me, Priscilla, right? If one person criticizes me and goes above and beyond, I get pissed. Like, I can't handle it. I get emotional, you know. Then I'm thinking the rest of the world, Twitter, Instagram, you're watching it on TV, you're hearing it in, in the stadium. Every time you kick a ball, it's either they are mocking you, it's either they are laughing at you. How much does it take for a human being to stand strong. Listen, I'm going to give it to Harry Maguire. He has a strong mentality. Because personally, to have all those people taunting you, criticizing you, others literally maybe sometimes abusing you, bullying you, and to still say, I want to play for Manchester United at the highest level, under the spotlight. Like, <laughs> I'll give it to the guy. It is not easy. So, I think it's a question we should ask ourselves. And I think it's a question you guys should Give me a response to, do you think all that you've seen about Harry Maguire, do you guys think that um, we have passed the stage of criticism and now we are bullying and abusing him? There's a thin line sometimes. There's a thin line between criticizing him and okay, we've criticized and also bullying and abusing. Do you think now the fans have just crossed that line? Like we've blurred the line between criticism and bullying. I want to believe we are doing constructive criticism. I don't believe and I don't think anyone deserves to be bullied. No one deserves to be abused. No one. Okay? I don't agree with that. Now, I'm not saying we shouldn't criticize a player, etc. I'm just saying um, we should always remember there's a human behind the player. We can only criticize so much, but we should know our limits. Sometimes, maybe, you know, Gareth Southgate can be right. Maybe, yes, people are being extreme on Harry Maguire. There are others that are extreme in terms of how they're making their jokes and stuff like that. I can agree with that. But then again, Gareth Southgate also shouldn't act as though people just woke up one day and decided to start criticizing Harry Maguire. There is a reason why people are reacting this particular way. The guy had a chance to go to West Ham. And he said no. He said he would fight for his club. When he clearly saw the fans and the manager were saying bye-bye. Okay? The guy decided to stay. So, and he hasn't been playing well. Let's just be honest. He hasn't been on form. So, I don't think it's also fair for Gareth Southgate to 
who attack the fans and the pundits like they are just being bullies. Okay, there's, a, there's somewhere where this comes from. The criticism is coming from somewhere. People didn't just wake up one day, randomly decide to pick on Harry Maguire. No, the criticism came from somewhere. So it's kind of interesting. I feel like Harry Maguire, to, to a larger extent, has been an architect of his own downfall. I think mm, he could have gone to West Ham and he could have played regular football. He's not a horrible player. He's a good player, but just not at the Manchester United level. The same way David Moyes was able to get Lingard um, to play well, I think he would have gotten Harry Maguire to play well. I understand Harry Maguire trying to push himself and trying to get back into Manchester United's good graces, but sometimes when you ain't got it, you just ain't got it, right? So it's it's really quite interesting. I mean, there's so much to this. Like, Manchester United, drop FC. There is just never a quiet day. Right now, we are hearing Sancho is going to be practicing alone, pending disciplinary issues. There's so much to talk about with regards to Manchester United. At this point, it's just like... Wow, like there's always something, always something with Manchester United. So those are my thoughts on the Harry Maguire situation. I just wanted us to talk about it because I think it's quite interesting. And I wanted us to address whether it's bullying or constructive criticism. So you guys do put down in the comment section if you think people have crossed the line of constructive criticism and are now bullying and abusing Harry Maguire or they're just doing constructive criticism. What do you guys think? So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe. And turn your notifications on to know when next episode's video. Bye.